Hey guys, I am going to share three quick fasting tips for the ones that are seeing the rebroadcast of this. I'm on day 13. Hope everybody survived the Florida winter. Now I know I have three sweaters because <laughs> I can wear one on each day of a Florida winter and uh, never wear the same sweater twice. Hello, Alice. All right. Uh, reason I'm doing this is that I have um, a lot of people, a lot of my friends, uh, are on a fast or are going into a fast and I'm on my 13th day right now and I have uh, been doing just water for a little while um, and I'm feeling really good right now I'd say um, I'm the best I have been uh, there's still some ups and downs but I'm doing it in joy. I am uh, doing everything I need to be doing. I am working. Um, I ran a mile and a half yesterday. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing it with a level of excitement and joy. If you haven't watched uh, the video that I just posted last night, the teaching on fasting, uh, I recommend you do watch it because that is one of the sources of my motivation in making this thing successful is that there are promises that come with fasting and prayer and benefits that we get from uh, from from doing it and that we should be happy about achieving those benefits so I have um, a couple of things that I want to talk about that uh, I've learned and that will encourage you to stay strong in your fast uh, if you're going into a fast or if you're already in one and one of them is that fasting is uh, it's like a muscle it um, it can be stretched so the very first fast that you go into, I'd, I'd say do not go into a 30-day fast. Do not go 40 days like Jesus did. Hey, Jeff. Nice to see you, man. I would say if it's your first fast, take it easy. Do a three-day fast. Um, I believe fasting is the absence of food. I don't believe in just fasting Facebook and uh, as being a biblical scriptural fast or fasting uh, something else that you desire it's fasting food what your body really desires uh, so if you're fasting food I'd say fast food for most of the day if not all day if not for all the days that you're doing it for I know a lot of people who fast once a week for long periods of time and they're very successful at that at that and they, they separated for a day of prayer um, I also know people that um, have gone overboard with their fast. I try to push myself in the past and it has not worked. Uh, it's frustrating. So it is a muscle. Stretching is a, it's like a muscle. You can, you can uh, develop it in time. Start with a three day, next time go on a six day, seven day. And, and from there on, you, you, it grows and you can, you can do better and better each time. The other thing that I'd say is, um, <laughs> that has really encouraged me after so many days is that there is a limit to hunger. Once hunger achieves that limit, once hunger gets to that peak, it can't get any worse. <laughs> uh, so, and you usually achieve that peak within the first day, maybe the second day, uh, for some people the third day, but once you get to that peak of hunger and you know what that feeling is like, you can get used to that peak of the hunger that you have and, and in that way you're, you're you know we can't get any worse so you just keep distracted and you keep moving and that's my point number three don't just lay there don't just sit there while you're fasting do something worship God uh, with all your heart <laughs> you know I pick up my guitar and I go into these long periods of time just worshiping God uh, if I have nothing to do, I go to work, work. If you have to work, work. The, the, I, I haven't seen any limits to my, my, uh, my thinking, to uh, conversations, to, uh, you know, I've been making phone calls. I've been 
talking to people, I've been resolving problems. I haven't, I haven't seen any limits to that. Only when you allow that to affect your mind and you think that uh, it's doing that for you, that's, that's when you experience it. But um, keep yourself busy. If you have nothing to do, if you have no work to do, if, you, if, if, if you've already worshipped and you, you're looking for something to do, go out and pray with somebody. Find somebody, call them, pray with them. Um, do do good out on, on in your neighborhood. Go out and give a, you know, give something to somebody. If there are homeless people in town. Go go see them. Hand them something. Talk to them. Uh, buy them food. Make them food. Uh, I have had no problems making my children lunches or dinners. I have had no problem. Uh, helping my wife with cooking or putting food away. I actually enjoy it. I, I enjoy the smell of it. I enjoy the looks of it uh, without really coveting it that much to where it hurts. I'm, I'm, I have been joyful about that as well. So I, I want to encourage you with that. Um, so that's, that's it. You know, if, if the Lord has um, been telling you to fast, now there are things that you, you just, you got to understand that fasting is not something that, that, that you need to wait for the Lord to call you to do as much as you've, you've already received instructions to fast from scriptures. So just look for a time to fast. If that time is coming soon, I want to encourage you uh, stay hooked. I have some more days on my fast and I'll be sharing more tips as they come, more revelations as I get them. Uh, and also watch the video that I posted from last night because it will it'll really uh, encourage you and, and the promises that come from fasting, and uh, I'll be sharing more scripture about that as well because it will it will encourage you. So if you haven't caught us from the beginning, Monica, just watch the rebroadcast. It's good. <laughs> nice to see you, Monica. But that's all I got for right now. So uh, check out the rebroadcast uh, for all the three tips that I that I revealed here, and uh, stay tuned for more. Uh, just go ahead and follow me if you're interested in these. Uh, go to my page and put uh, follow for seeing first. And then when these things come up, you'll, you'll get quick notifications about them. All right, but guys, bye-bye.